The unfortunate is here. Melissa Toys R Us. Located 2700 Cisk Road, Modesto, California, 95350. This one will be showing you how Modesto Toys R Us used to look before it closed down. If you missed the chance to visit Modesto Toys R Us, this video will help you revisit Toys R Us one last time. My friends Don Fresco and Don Q and I will be enjoying our last moment with Toys R Us. If you ever get the chance, watch Hayward Toys R Us and Emeryville Toys R Us videos. They have great stories to tell you folks. The videos will be down below to click. Also, don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel if you're new. Hit the like button. I'll be continuing making Toys R Us videos and enjoy the rest of the vlog. As you can see, Tom is the train aisle. Look how beautiful it was decorated. Toys R Us decorated this just for the Thomas the Train fans. Lego Isle, where it makes you feel like you are at Legoland. Wow, this is the beauty about Toys R Us. You get to get the chance to be creative, try them out. I don't remember any other stores where they offer these kinds of stuff. Where else can you see stuff like this? Nowhere else. A big section just only exclusively designated for Legos. Life size models come standard in almost every Toys R Us store, and uh, especially with Legoland. And it's going to be a distant memory for most of us, unfortunately, this post. Can you do this online? Only Toys R Us give us the opportunity to be at Legoland. The best part of this Lego aisle is that they had a special place for Lego Star Wars. You can even turn on the lights so you can see the Lego Star Wars characters. This is how the aisle used to look. Lego Duplo. Lego Mindstorm. Oh, this is the this is the cheap Lego brand, Mega Blocks. Somewhere dolió, güey. Somewhere ten years gets lost. Yeah. I think I'm 10 years younger than I actually am. <laughs> We're all kids at heart. Yeah. Also, Toys R Us had special aisles for under 5 kids. Look at all the couches, cars, Fisher Price, Mr. Potato Head, and other random toys. Let's not forget, baby doll nursery. A lot of baby dolls for young girls to pick. Thank you, Toys R Us. No, no like that up there. Look. Yeah, you know what? That that is like. Oh, this is. This would have been. This was like. Oh my God. I wanted more than anything as a kid, like when I was below 10 years old, one of these. This was like my dream. In fact, I had a little red Do you remember that one time? Actually, this was my, this was like my dream car. And I remember the first time I went to sit on Santa's lap, I tried to say, all right, what do you want for Christmas? He was all like, what do you want for Christmas? I think he was the first grade. And, 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 uh, I said, you're going to get in? All right, get in. <laughs> Go, George. Disco 
car. This is a Porsche, my dream car, because in the movie Commando, my yeah. Arnold Schwarzenegger yeah. drove this car. <laughs> and that's how he looked. Yes. Huh? Yeah, this. Yeah. If I was a kid right now. Okay, I would George, go ahead. Reenact the Arnold car. scene. Yeah, that's right. Mm. What do you like, Sonny? I like you. That's what I'm going to do. Lost. Or they have, they have this cool scene when Commando. <laughs> The Arnold. He, he flips over the car or? No, no when like, he, when he oh. it was on its side and he pushes it back yeah. over. Yeah. He's like. Oh, this didn't happen. Dang, you're now ruining my, ca my dream car, George. All right. What he did with Sally. I have to go. <clears throat> this would have been my car. What'd you do with Sully? I don't have what kids do you right you... now, but if I had a son or a daughter, I would buy this. How much is it? This? 20% off. This is about $400, but George. But here's really? the reality of it. And I was kind of telling this guy about it. I didn't realize how expensive life is between children. So even though you want to buy it for your kids, it's like, but can you? I'm going to make it that way. Digo, ¿qué es más importante? Pañales? Oh. Pañales. Is he going away? But then this guy mentioned. What if you? That's why everybody was Alright, let's go check the, the action figures. Let's go check it out. All the movie stuff, like here are all the NECAs, Ghostbusters, and the Blade Runner. Oh, I thought you meant like toys should be. Like totally something that should be on the up climb, right? It should be improving. Like it should be an explosion. You have an explosion of movies, cartoons, a whole bunch of stuff for kids and adults alike, which were kids at one point, you know? So those two groups should be coming together and the toy market should be like very healthy and I'm on the upswing. But Unfortunately, this particular franchise, this outlet, made some bad decisions, I guess, early on. And uh, everybody's caught up in the uh, online craze, and everybody also is making sure that uh, we can get the best deal. And uh, that ends themselves in a lot of debt. So, 20%. $79, See, I even think that that's... Well, wouldn't you think this is cool if you were a kid? Absolutely. I'd be all like, oh my god. Right. Rich people, maybe? Okay, so everyone's rich? Is everybody rich? I don't know. Oh, this is cool. I'm not rich. I like, like this. Oh, this... This looks badass. Look at this van. If I was a kid, wow, I will. I would have begged my dad to buy me sure, this. Awesome. Super ultimate. Mm -hmm. the, the, see, the only reason is because I like is the fact that this is the actual DC version. This is like the old, old, old school version. Of it. Well, you know what? They did that on purpose. One is marketing. No, you gotta, you gotta know you gotta change. But this is. Tell me something awesome to do. It is, it is. And you can like, when like you turn off the your time lights, time. you turn right. off the lights, huh? you turn off the lights, no, just, no, or this, that could glow, or just, kids are, kids are, kids are, kids are, like, one day they'll play with something, another day they won't, right. but you just randomly, one day you just go, like, you just go to it, like, when you're in the mood, then, then I say, just go up to it and go, just, just, because you know it's there, right, you got the original, and you got something like this, and you got the more money, more, Pero ¿quién tiene dinero para esto, güey? Let's finish this. Looks like it has mixed with the with the new version and the old version. Yeah. yeah, this is a make. I don't I don't see how it's making market ability. Remember when? Oh, Batman only had the. Uh, this is cool. 
Yeah, the, the, it was uh, against when he was fighting so against Shoot saying, Superman. <laughs> if they're saying the original colors and stuff, huh? It's all about the Mooney merchandise, which Lucas started on. I'm not a fan of Terminator 2, mm -hmm. but... You're not a fan of Terminator 2? What? <laughs> because, because, uh, the, uh... Terminator 2 is like the best Terminator. The robot could beat up Arnold, the T-100. Well, he right, gets George? beat up in all Exactly. They make oh. Arnold look like a wuss. But he looks like... We yeah. don't like Arnold looking like a wimp, right? Exactly. That's what James Cameron f <laughs> But you want this in the room? Do you want this in your room? Yeah. And, uh, why, uh, why, why Tommy, would you want to Tommy, Tommy's wife. Tommy's wife. Buy this movie, George. Uh -huh. Please. To the room. Tommy's wife. Uh huh. And actually, I bought some some really expensive toys right from the beginning when, when they announced that the, the store was closing. The store was closing because I was assuming, okay, every, they're gonna put everything like fifty week, percent. Right. Yeah, like okay, it's gonna be gone right away. And well, I was like, what? Ten percent? Well, they want to make up for the debt that the owner got himself into. Mm -hmm. So, in a way, whoever bought the business kind of killed Toys R Us. <laughs> All those videos. I mean, these are so expensive. Once you give them an iPhone, they they lose completely interest with toys. Maybe that's another downfall too. Mm -hmm. I think the constant stimulation that they get from their phone does take the creativity side away from them. They have something to do to myself. You see how that works? <laughs> and it's and more does. heavy duty. And it's more heavy duty. And does. And does. A reason why. This is a scenario that we rehearsed, but it's very realistic. Really, only 10 more look, look 20 how, more look bucks. How looks, look how it looks compared to that. That's true, I would say. It's worth the twenty dollars <laughs> difference in price. <laughs> and no, you know what? No that was the same price. That was the same price before the sale. So you know, one of the things to keep in mind is they might show you sixty percent off, twenty percent off, eighty percent off. But the question is, was eighty percent off? Together? Yes, twenty percent off, sixty percent off from what? From a much more expensive price than retail? No, I don't think so. Uh, yeah, I don't, uh, let's see. This area of the store was where it had all the seasonal toys for Christmas, Easter Day, and summer season, as you can see right now. Look at all these summer toys. A lot of stuff than what I expected. Look, a Sharky. I found some leftover Christmas trains. I put them all together so you can see how it was decorated during Christmas season. I think I remember showing this to my dad. Yeah, he's just. I thought I was. Why are you so stupid? He thought I was nuts. Just, I only loved it because it had a skeleton inside. When you were a kid, you don't play with this. Uh, because I think I'm supposed to do something like that. Check it out. Remember this? Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Shredder, Craig, 
Bebop and Rocksteady. This is a classic. Kids, especially kindergartners, they still get really excited with these, with these crayons. But I want to try it out. Oh, Michael says, says, you gotta break your neck. Buy it, kid. For that reason, buy it. You're gonna poke your for eye the out, loyal. Kid. Hey, for the loyal Toys R Us. <laughs> buy it for Toys R Us. Break your neck for Toys R Us. <laughs> Let me go ahead and pay an extra hundred dollars so Toys R Us can get out of its neck. <laughs> it's a service. It's a, it's a, it's a tribute. Toys R Us may rest in peace. Do they close down one of them? Can let me loan me or give me one of those? <laughs> those, those logo. Oh, good idea. One day we have your kids for you'll put it in the room and be like, what's that? What's the R for, Daddy? Why what my my name's not Randy or whatever you know? Mm -hmm. You know if I, if I ever buy my own house, I wanna make sure I build up a basement downstairs. And then put in one section, Toys R Us, and KB Toys. Well supposedly KB Toys might be coming back. KB uh, Toys. Is it similar to Toys R Us? Similar to Toys R Us. That was like when they when they sold cheap toys. Uh, like Clarence toys. Okay. And usually it was at the mall. They always had toys at the mall. So what happened to them? They went out of business or what? They ran out of business as well. Oh, there's no way. Toys R Us also had all the Barbie dolls you can buy. Barbie Dream House. Bags and makeups, a combination of Barbie dolls, and more dolls for collectors, including kitchen toys. Okay, check it out. You remember the Super Soaker, right? Now, speaking about that, I haven't seen any kids playing with those anymore. Yeah, what's up with that? This is like the biggest. I remember when they used to have Super Soaker, like it was Super Soaker 50 or mm -hmm. like 40. And then Super Soaker 70, and then Super Soaker 100, and then Super Soaker 250. I was like, yeah, I was like crawling all over town. And uh, I found my super. Oh, this is kind of like a, a more modern version. You remember laser tag? You're probably too old. You were born. Oh, laser tag! Never got the chance to play those. You know they have a laser tag center up here in Salida. We all go. It is an awesome show too. I recommend it. Is your voice Angeles? Now shall we? You don't see the sign above your head? It's a pretty sweet sign, right, Hugh? Yeah. American Girl Isle. These dolls were so expensive, but they were so beautiful. It sure looks like a doll museum. I love how these aisles was well decorated to catch the customer's attention. Great job, Toys R Us. I want to buy.
buy this just for this. This logo. What do you think? You want to buy this just for the logo? What's your opinion? Mm -hmm. were, were you a Hot Wheels guy? Yeah, I was. I was very much a Hot Wheels guy. Hot Wheels? Hot, hot Wheels. Yeah, and uh, I was very much into, like, I had this uh, toy city. It was called Hot Wheels City. And it was kind of like that big park of the Rustin that we saw in the other. I'm gonna go check how much is this. $15. Can't find it anywhere else, but at Toys R Us you can. That's the whole point of this. <laughs> what is it? Look at this. Look at this. I remember Sorry. That game was, was fun as well. Later. Later. I got one. Pero mira. Is there a checker somewhere? Oh yes, it's over here. Fifteen dollars. our last day to visit Toys R Us. Coming in on the last day was a heartbreaking. We felt like we were watching Toys R Us riding into pieces. We also felt like Toys R Us died with our childhood life. But we came in anyways just to visit Toys R Us one last time and take some pictures with Jeffrey. Look at this place. No toys left to buy. Everything is gone. Just gone. I'm not even sure what's going to happen to this building. Will there ever going to be a new toy store? We just got to accept the reality. But always remember, we'll always be a Toys R Us kid. Even if we are adults already, Toys R Us will always be in our hearts. Yes, I saw one of the box up there, and it looked kind of, honestly, it's really hard to Anyways, it was of this uh, of this toy, uh -huh. and it claims to be able to remote control. This toy is, you know, looks really cool. Do you know anything about this? Supposedly, you can control the drawing with the Heart rate is now reduced to half shelf space by way of video games. That is the extent to which the Toys R Us empire has downfalled. This is Kevin Quinones, over and out. Truly the death of a generation and the death of an era. I don't wanna go home, I'm a Toys R Us kid. They got a meal and toys at Toys R Us that I can play with. I don't wanna go home, I'm a Toys R Us kid. They got the best for so much less. It'll really flip your lips.